so here I am. I'm, I'm up to how bad. Uh, oh, that's why I'm smelling stuff. There's a bone here. No, oh, not a bone. Anyway, I'm up here. The pen. I'm about to do a truck around, see what's up. I beached myself here as usual. Took my paddle with me so nobody can steal it. And I'm off. Okay guys, I'm here. I'm uh, ready to do anything you want to do. I'd like you to leave me signs. Uh, I'm going to be heading out to the a big field out there and I'm just going to hang out and uh, just hang out. Uh, my partner in crime is tired. Don't blame her. She's gone from doing nothing to, to uh, trying to hang with me. So uh, anyway, she'll be leaving soon. Going back to her stuff. And uh, it would just be you and me again. Okay? I'm curious. Do the star people, are you a part of the star people? Or do you live underground and you're your own people? And are you just as amazed at the star people? Or do they come and visit you and do stuff with you? I tend to think they do. I'm not sure if you're afraid of them or if you're actually in cahoots with them. Perhaps you can give me an answer today or tomorrow at your leisure. Uh, that's about all I have to say right now, so I'm going to just follow my, my heart and just see where I head off. I don't see any trails. Well, yeah, there's kind of one. Luckily, it's the way I'm going. I'm, luckily, I know where I'm going so I don't get caught up in that stuff out there. All right, here we go. The other day, I took a picture of myself and I saw you behind me in the tree. I don't think reality has anything to do with it. I think you were just there and you wanted me to see you because that's, that photograph was in one millisecond of each other, if it wasn't just kind of the same one. Anyway, so, obviously I can photograph you when you want to. So I'm heading out this way, going up and over this ridge. Then I'm going to head out into a field. I'm going to go to the other side and just, just kind of hang out where the, uh, the star beings were one year. I saw a white craft, like a cross. And I also saw something else in the woods on an, another photograph from the satellite systems. And I think that was another star being. You want to answer me? I'm going to whistle. <whistles> Somebody's over there I can know. Mr. Squirrel's giving them away. 
Hopefully it's not the bear that I keep seeing tracks of. And or what looked like a big kitty. I know you have a hole down in there. One day I'll maybe get a camera and be able to stuff it down there. Okay, let's get through this mess. I know this is one of your favorite places to sit. I can see your footprints. Yeah, that's a nice little hole there you got to sit. Look at that, and you can see out uh, over the valley there. Watch me go walking by. And you can't be seen. Nobody can sneak up on you because you've put up all these branches to conceal yourself. Very intelligent. All right, I'm going to try to push through here like I did the other day. Maybe on the way back, I'll see what that is. Why it's like that. Okay, here I am. The white cross was up there. I'm going to get soaked, I guess. I can see somebody's been through here. Somebody low to the ground. They're dragging their feet. Well, now they're not. Now they're stepping over and dragging their feet. This is two paths. One no, one couldn't be mine because it wasn't this this tall when I came by here. So two people are walking along here, up towards that place over there. Right to the crest. Go. So, I guess I'm just going to park out here and sit. Hopefully you'll show yourself. Or come down and pick me up. Zoom me away. Either way, I'm game. I've been over here in years. Remember, there used to be a lot of things going on over here. Down in there. I'm going to skirt around and go down that way because I see something out there kind of thing. Gotta remember to look up. It's 
somebody's walking along breaking their branches off, aren't they? I see. Somebody's been here. See that? I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, somebody's breaking the branches off. I can hear a deer right up there. He won't smell me for until I get up down over there. But he heard me because I wasn't being real quiet. See if I can skirt around him without terrorizing him. <laughs> I see somebody's walking along here. Whoever it is is low to the ground, so it's like a skunk or a raccoon or something. See how it pushes the stuff down because he's low to the ground. Could be my kitty cat. That way. And no, uh, he went this way. Oh, I see he skirted around. There's two of them, that's why. There's one here, it's low to the ground. This guy's taller, so that's probably like deer or something. Wow, this is weird. <laughs> this is so nice. Oh, look, there's another uh, canyon looking thing over there. This is a really nice place. Tucked away in the middle of the, the hills. It's supposed to be like a like a 30% chance of showers. Looks like we might get some. So I gotta find a nice place to get out of the rain. I think I'm gonna skirt that. I'm gonna go up in the hills there. This is just the lower part. It goes up and up and up and up, up to Bobby's Mountain, Crystal Mountain. I don't need to go up there again today, but I would like to skirt around like halfway up just to see what's going on. Oh, I love it. That was nice. Nice stiff breeze keep me cool. Oh, there's the jets going overhead. I do remember one year going up in there and uh, a really funny occurrence. Every single birch bark tree, young, young ones were all broken off and just left on the ground. All of them. So somebody who doesn't like birch bark. Obviously that's just a theory, you know, being somebody, but when you see something like that and it looks like wanting wanted activity makes you wonder so I'm gonna head out there again and just see what's happening that was years and years and years ago as you recall there was a uh, um, what looked like a, well, it didn't look like there was a big white cross over there behind that tree kind of thing. But this is kind of weird. I'm just becoming aware of it. Look at these patches. You see them? Circles. Look at this over here. Circles. Look at that, a perfect circle. Look, more circles. I'm gonna go out, way out there and say, wouldn't that be weird if it's the lights that come overhead and they land out here? 
the colored lights that always go up here. From my house all the way over, and they're up here, going over Bobby's Mountain, which is over here. And they're... Huh. Nothing I can do about it to, to prove it or anything, but that's weird. It's not on the other side, there's none of these. It's just on this side. And like that's where the big white cross was up there. But isn't that strange? Life is strange. All right, I'm up here at the edge. I'm gonna start heading in. It's weird, the circles. And some of them have circles within circles. But it's not, it's not on the other side. Just on this side. I guess I'm going to head up to that ridge, see what's up there, and then walk along it. <coughs> okay, here goes. Hoo-wee! After yesterday's trek, at least I wasn't going up and down yesterday. I just walked forever and ever and ever. <sighs> My legs are hurt. <laughs> anyway, I got ways to go. I just looked over there and it goes way up. It doesn't seem to plateau off. Although it looks like there might be a trail through there. I hope so. Just gonna take a look over this rise though. See if there's anything over there. There's no stealth today walking through the forest. Everybody can hear me coming. So, oh, I'll go this way. Lots of foot activity up here. everybody knows if you want to get your get around follow the deer trails the animal trails because they always take the path of least resistance they've been doing it for forever and I see one going up here so I'm gonna go up that way instead of just heading straight up Phew. well I'm glad I skirted this because I would have had to go straight up that is steep. Oh, some fantastic big trees up here. Wow. So this is something really super. I like this thing. That's what you call determination. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nature at its best. Anyway, I'm on a nice flat area. Wow, if I had a million bucks, I'd cut all the trees in front of me and I'd have a super view of the mountains and I'd have my castle up here
Wow, this is so cool. It's all, it's all just flat. See? Then you go up the hill. Wonder if this is part of that the uh, the ruins that are way way at the top of the mountain in Crystal Mountain. What if this was leveled by, say, the ancient people, and they all lived up here? And what's exciting and interesting is that in the middle. Let's have a look at it. That is very interesting, isn't it? It's just parked up here. It's a pile of stones right there. But this stone is just sitting here. I wonder if it has writing on it or anything. feels hollow. I know it can't be hollow. Yeah, the more I think about it, this place is part of a whole big structure that used to be here years and years and thousands and thousands of years ago. It just has that feel. Every time I think it looks like something, I find something that would back up my theory kind of thing, you know? Look at that. That is weird. See this pile of stones here. They're all jutting up. I don't know what's underneath it. It's solid. Don't want to fall in a hole or something. Boy. What do you know? Obviously there's more to the structure that was here. All buried. It's all stone. Right here. It's like a little stonehenge. Let me look around for more upright rocks. This is getting interesting. More parts of the structure are sticking up. Ground penetrating radar would be, do the trick, I'll tell you, for this place. This is awesome. And that in the center. Wow. Let me get some bearings on here and see what uh, like direction it's pointing, if it's pointing somewhere. All right, here I am. This is north, which is exactly this way. Just over, over to the stone. Let's see if I can do this up that way. There we go. Uh, north, okay. North is saying that way. Let's go over this way. Line this up exactly. Okay, if I stand right here, that's pointing north and south. The stone, now, I just tried something uh, kind of weird. I just went over to it and um, things kind of changed. Watch this. Stone me. Well, there's north. Now let's say 
This is magnetic north. Perhaps this actually points to real north, which is, I'd forgotten how many degrees off, but let's do the plate face of that. And that's what it would be pointing at. Let's turn it again. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Can't hold it still. I don't know what that means. Anyway, east and west, east and west, and north and south. Coincidence. There are lots of uh, bumps here. But uh, interestingly enough, further up, I also on a plain, a flat area, I also found um, just some rocks jutting out of the ground that looked like they had been placed. But this is so awesome. I mean, look at this. It's just this big flat plain. What a place to have a, a place. Like I said, there's these uh, mound type things just around. So here's a big one. Look at the size of this one. But look at this, there's a rock on it. And uh, coincidence again, look at that. It's like a big arrow. And I'll tell you what, it's pointed north. Exactly north. More coincidences. Well, there's a nice perfect mound or whatever. And there's a bunch of them. Whoops, my fat finger. See? That's all built up on the other side. Uh, I can't point that, can't see and point. But let's go check it out. a nice round mound. Here's a better view of this uh, place. See that? See that? Stone was on this thing over here, but it's like this little platform area. Pretty interesting. This whole freaking mountain was one settlement. That's my call. Boulder just sitting out in the middle of the place. Different kind of rock. It's the same kind of rock that I have in my pocket. Interesting. Well, one doesn't have to go very far, does one? I just turned around and here we are again. Look at this. I've seen one of these uh, further up towards the ruins, just like that. You can see it's not naturally, it wasn't naturally put here because the way it was, it's, it's carved out. And if I look around, yeah, all right. So 
So these things are all just in a row all along here on this flat area and they're all out from the sides. They're in the middle. Whatever that means. Isn't that cute? Coming up to the edge of the uh, flat area. But that's kind of interesting. Somebody's been there. So let's just review this. That's the edge. And it faces north at the end. And it goes all the way down here, flat. And then it just drops off like real sharp, just steeper than anything. And then you just start going up the hill. Here's a real worn down trail. Nice. I was trying to figure out where I was and I figured I'm like near video 46 and I actually am because there's the tree right there. I don't know if I'm pointing at it, but it's that big thing. See, right down in there. That's where 46 happened. All right, I have a choice. Walk along the ridge and down. Go straight down. Walk along the ridge here. Go along the ridge all the way through out to the fields out there somewhere. I think my best bet is to do this. I'm going this way. I know where I am. Okay. Video 46 happened down there. Now, you remember I said there was like this pilgrimage area? Like people brought up all these sticks like that? Well, there's the place. Uh, it, when I came out here, it was very fresh. Obviously, now it's all changed and broken down kind of thing, but that was the place. And down here, ooh, whatever that is down there. But down here, there was more of them. Like here, here, and there. And I thought it was like the little people or something coming up here, because it would be quite a climb, and building these things. I mean, obviously somebody was building it. And talk about an ugly tree. You can't see it now, but that used to be a T. Somebody had split it and made it into a T, but you can see how ugly it was. And that's what you look for, are the ugly trees. Very interesting. But then you also have your big footprints. There's one. There's another. I don't know if I'm pointing at it, but there's another. They're going this way from that area. Going this way. Down here, see it's all overgrown, but oh, look at that. Down here, there were more of those structures. I hate to say that word because now all the BF units use that. <laughs> they go, oh, it's a stick structure. And that means anything that they're sticks, they think that's a structure. But you have to really weigh everything out and there has to be a reason, rhyme and reason. Not everything is just a stick structure. Yeah, I'm going to skirt along this edge here. So I don't want to go out there. It's all wet. Over there is a, like a swamp. And that's where I found the bone. And there's a, a rock on top of the, where I found the bone. There's now a rock out there. So, okay, we'll head this way. Big wishbone. Hanging in the tree. There's a nice little fabulous place to sit and watch me go by when I do. All right. 
I've come full circle. A good, a good bunch of miles and a long trek and tons of stuff. Uh, Crystal Mountain is up there. And the ruins I found were up there. And the ruins that I found, the other ones that we, Jillian and I went to, are way up there. The top of a thousand feet. Interesting stuff. So I just gotta get through all this and then get over to my boat and then the mile or so paddle down the pond for the end of another trip, an exciting one. See what that is in the tree over there? Uh. Now that I'm here, I just make sure I walk on my trail so I can always tell if anybody's been over there. But my boat's over there. Open over. Well, my hooved guy was this. <laughs> my hooved guy was here. One footprint. Two, three, there. Huh, maybe if he came over to check my boat out. Who knows? Idea of this ridge line. It's like a fort, totally like a fort. Everything says fort. We have ruins, ancient ruins. We have these uh, walls. And we have the uh, areas where people can be down in the valleys, all hidden. It's a fort. Fort is a fort. All right. Can't wait to get in the boat. <laughs> At least I won't have to walk anymore. And a good stiff paddle all the way back. Walking the ridge line. Oh yeah, where'd I put my paddle? That was my little place where I put all the stuff on when I first came up here and it started the whole thing. And I would get little feathers, they were right on the ground here. Three little feathers just sitting there all colored. The tips. I spent many years up here. I left him a knife right next to that, right there. And the next year I came up with, and I, they had cut the hair off. These trees weren't all there, but they had cut all the um, hair off, not all of it. And then what I did was follow, and I went out and I found the rest of the hair. And then that's where for, video 46 happened. Ready to go. Cast off. Laddie.